what's good youtube family thank y'all for tuning back into another video thank you for coming to my channel if you're already subscribed i appreciate you if you're not subscribed smash the subscribe button help me get to a thousand subscribers a thousand subscribers i'm gonna get a giveaway probably either money or some clippers so i might do i don't know which one i'm gonna do yet y'all y'all let me know what y'all want but to kick this cut off i'm gonna go in i'm gonna comb the hair out and i'm gonna, I'm gonna comb the hair in a pattern of his waves so that it lifts it up on the scalp so that when i come in and cut it down it's gonna be even as possible make sure that you cut in the pattern of, make sure that you cut and comb both in the pattern of the waves it's pretty easy pretty simple to do all you gotta do is see which way the hair is growing and cut and comb comb and cut in that direction um but yeah let me know what kind of give a giveaway y'all want and like i said if you're not subscribed smash the subscribe button it's like so it's like 80 percent of my people who have watched my videos aren't subscribed so if you're one of them smash the subscribe button man help me out i appreciate you but this is going to be a high taper, so to get into it, I'm going to put my ball line in from the bottom of the vertical bar to the top of the ear. I'm going to clean it out. In the back, I'm going to just do straight across. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side from the bottom of the vertical bar to the top of the ear. Making sure that I clear it out, have it nice and straight and even. See, uh, some people said that they do like the real time thing, so thank you, man. Because I think it was like one person who answered. I appreciate you, bro. So, to start this cut out, I'm gonna open my blade all the way. I'm gonna go up like three quarters of an inch, really like half an inch. And I'm gonna set the ball line in, and then I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna go over, I go over it multiple times just so every just so I know everything is the same length. You know, all the hairs are getting cut. And I'm going to close the lever halfway. I'm going to go halfway up it. Or halfway down the guideline. Whichever way you want to look at it. I'm going to go halfway. Since I'm fading down, I'm going to say. I'm going to go halfway down the guideline. Then I'm going to close the lever one more notch. And go halfway down that halfway point. So half a halfway. And I'm going to close the lever all the way. And tap the bottom of the guideline. And take the line out completely. And right in this area somewhere i end up actually switching the clipper to the masters just because and i'm gonna say this now y'all i didn't give him the best cut like i got pictures of him on instagram uh with a way better cut than the one that we ended up getting today but it is what it is man that's that's part of it he didn't watch his hair usually he does watch it but um yeah we i'm, I'm gonna redo the video but i still want to post this so, so y'all can see but I got the number one guard on. I'm going up like three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to just do the same process. I'm going to set the ball line in. I'm, I mean, I'm going to set this guard line in. And then I'm going to close the lever halfway. Go halfway down the guard line. Close the lever all the way. And hit the bottom of the guard line. Knowing that it's not going to come out completely. But it's going to give me. It's going to soften that bottom line up. To where I can come in. And uh, take that line out. Before finishing the bottom part of the fade, I'm gonna go ahead and do the top part. So I'm just taking my number one and a half guard. We cut his hair down with the one halfway open. So this is a one and a half and it should blend right up into that. And I'm just softening this up, trying not to cut too much. His wave, see how it grows kind of like straight. The way he brushes his hair is like straight even on the side. It's like it brushes forward. So I'm just making sure I don't cut too far into that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and boom, do some detail work. So now I got the zero guard on and i'm just gonna go open half lane closed but y'all know how i look at the zero guard i look at it as an eraser not a guideline guideline type of guard so when i use the zero guard when i put the zero guard on i go open more than going open half lane closed like i do on everything else i just look for dark spots and i pinpoint them and bring them to the light so i use the last couple of teeth of my blade the edge of my blade and i open and close and lever play 
So I lever play. And this is detail work, same thing, just the masters. And I got the blade open, and I'm just detail work. I'm just doing detail work. So I'm lever playing, open and closing my lever when needed. And then I'm using the corner of my blade and just picking out dark spots, bringing them to the light, and making this fade and this transition as smooth as possible. And uh, back to what I was saying about this ain't, this didn't turn out to be the best cut for a couple reasons. His hair was hard to cut this day because he didn't really wash it, so it was just like, you know, if you're a barber, you know what I'm talking about. If you started washing hair, it's just so much better to cut. Um, I accidentally pushed the fade up too high behind the ear on the other side. You'll see when it's all set and done, I'm going to point the flaws out because it kind of irritated me, but like I said, I'm going to redo it and it's going to be way better. So, like I said, I got the pictures on Instagram. I wish I would have recorded that cut. That cut was like perfect, but this is still a banger nonetheless. Um, still a good video for YouTube. And then uh, the enhancements. I, I got a new enhancement gun because the no drip, like 245 no drip is cool. It kind of shiny to me. So I just want to try something else to see. Uh, I feel like kids look more natural. But anyway, we're going to get into that. I got a whole video coming for that to explain it. And I'm going to do a compare. I'm going to compare them and give you the pros and cons of both. I got a video coming for that. But anyway, we in the back now. I set the ball line in like a full inch because we have more room to work, right? So. I can set the guideline in like a whole inch. I went open and then halfway and closed. And now I'm just making sure it's real clean. Making sure that everything is uh, cut how it's supposed to be. guard on and I'm just going up just a little bit and give myself room to come in with the one guard so I don't push this fade up too high but I'm just giving myself so it also lays how it's supposed to and uh, if this was a real waiver I wouldn't take it up this high as y'all can see but I mean he's a waiver but not like you know like don't cut up in too high you feel me? we're not really worried about that he doesn't really got waves like that in the back so now I got the one guard on and I'm gonna set this ball, I'm gonna set this guideline in like a full inch right up under where we left off that one and a half close. And then I'm gonna close it halfway, go halfway down the guideline that we set in. I'm gonna close it all the way and hit the bottom of the guideline we set in, knowing that once again it's not gonna take the line out, but it's gonna give me a solid foundation to make it easier for me to come in when I come when I come with my next step and put the, the zero guard on or the half guard on and take the line out completely. So now I got the zero guard on completely. So now I got the zero guard on. And I'm doing exactly what I said, man. I'm just, it was, I softened it up with the one close. So now I'm just taking this line out with the zero guard. Um, just doing lever play and uh, detail work. Pinpointing dark spots, bringing it to the light, making this fade and transitioning this fade as smooth as possible. So my message for today is this. It comes from Proverbs 4, 7. It says, wisdom is principle, therefore get wisdom. And with your getting, get understanding. So my message today is about wisdom knowledge and understanding and how important they are I, if you're a believer i challenge you to read a little bit of each of the or read every chapter of proverbs 1 proverbs 2 proverbs 3 and proverbs 4 open your bible and read these chapters but i'm gonna give you a little bit out of all of them uh proverbs 1 7 says the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction and then i'm just gonna i'm just gonna read a little bit of, about uh about all of them this talking about wisdom so when it says heard it's talking about wisdom my son, if you will receive my words and hide my commandments within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding, yes, if you cry out for knowledge, and if you lift up your voice with understanding, for understanding, if you seek it, if you seek her as silver and search for her as hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find knowledge and find the knowledge of God. The Lord gives wisdom. For the Lord gives wisdom. Out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He lays up sound for the righteous he lays up sound wisdom for the righteous he is a shield to those who walk uprightly my son do not forget my teachings but let you but let your heart keep my commandments for the length of your days and long life and peace will they add to you trust in the lord with all your heart do not and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight 
Fear the Lord, depart from evil. It'll be held to your body and strength to your bones. Do not withhold good from those who it is due when it is in the power of your hand to do it. Um, he gives favor to the humble, the wise will inherit glory. Let your heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live. Exalt her and she'll promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. She will place on your head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. She will deliver you. Hear my son and receive my sayings and the years of your life will be many. I have led you on the right path. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered. And when you run, you will not stumble. So y'all, basically what I'm saying is get in the Holy Bible, open the Bible, and get your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from God and understand everything that it can do for you and everything it will do for you. If you do what you're supposed to do, you got to know what you're supposed to do in, able to, in order to do it. So... Y'all go read the first four chapters of Proverbs. Proverbs 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's going to bless you and bless your life greatly if you live by it. Now let me get back into the cut. Y'all know how I do my um, ear lineups. I do my slant. I tap it in. Once I get like halfway up the ear, that's when I convert and use the edge of my blade and make the, you know, the shape around the ear. Roundabout. Then I'm going to brush it down. I'm going to do, just make sure that there's no overhanging hairs. Making sure that I get every hair that's, that would try to hang over. Making sure that I tap all of them. So that it don't matter if he goes home and does a brush session. His lineup solidified. So it's still going to be super crispy. Because I want to give him the longest lasting lineup possible. Even around his ear. So I'm going to make sure that I go over it multiple times. Don't push it up. Just go over the initial guideline that you set in so that it's crispy as possible. Now here I just got some some mousse and I'm just gonna curl enhancement. And I'm gonna brush it in. I'm gonna add a little more just cause this hair was so dry. Like I said, he didn't wash it. Usually he comes in with his hair washed. He didn't wash it, but y'all can see how clean that lineup was around the ear. Man. So I'm just brushing it in the pattern of his waves, making sure that I lay the hair down. I'm gonna throw the do-rag on. It's gonna do what it's supposed to do. It's gonna help lay the hair down. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Y'all gonna see what this really does. I'm gonna go ahead and line up his mustache and stuff. While, I'm, while I line up, I do the facial hair really, for the most part, while I got that on, just so I'm being efficient with my time as possible. I'm gonna do a free hand over the top to cut any hairs that, you know, is hanging or sticking out. That tape is smooth. This, this cut did come out smooth. I think I'm judging a little too much, but I know what I usually do to them. So this one is clean though. That thing clean already without a lineup. So with the front, I like to work from the front to the side and then do the same thing on the other side. So I, I start in the front, I work my way to the side. And once the front of this meets the side, I tap the vertical bar in. And this is a high taper, so there's no C cup. And I'm just gonna be very patient Making sure that I go over and making sure I'm always combing any hairs out. I'm setting the I'm setting the I'm setting the lineup in, right? Knowing where I want it to be, not going past that lineup. I'm not pushing it back. But I'm gonna continue to go over that spot multiple times because I'm gonna continue to brush hair down over the spot. See how I'm brushing, I'm combing that hair back down through it. Just so it stretches it out. So that like I said, when he goes home and does a brush session. This lineup is still going to be super crispy because I, as the barber, did what I was supposed to do. And I didn't just line it up one time. I brushed, I lined it up, I combed any hairs that would try to hang over after he did a brush session. I combed them through and I cut them also so that he's going to have a super crispy lineup when he leaves the shop. But also, he's going to have a super crispy shop a cut you know multiple days a week after he leaves the shop because i as the barber i gave him the long lasting haircut possible because i did what i was supposed to do and i made sure that i got every hair laid and cut how it's supposed to be and i'm just doing the same thing on this side i'm just gonna work from the front to the side and once the side meets the you'll you'll be able to see what i'm saying better so y'all see how i work from the front to the side then when when I meet up to the side, I tap the vertical bar in. Y'all see, I didn't need a hand but I'm gonna go ahead and throw some in there. My boy likes it. 
and uh once again i'm using the beam team cordless sl with no drip sean cuts hair car line has been card i'm just you know adding a little pop to the cut and a little enhancement taking it to the next level because putting enhancement on the skill too but back to what I was saying about the enhancement is I feel like this leaves a little bit of like a glare, I guess you would say. Um, so I had used Havens before and right now I'm just using a Barber Magic Pencil. And I'm just putting it right in front of the lineup, making sure I don't get it in the hair. I don't put it on too thick. And that when I do, I uh, light it up after, making sure that I drag it away from the skin. And I'm gonna line it back up with the razor. And when I use the razor, I'm going to hold my razor at a 45 degree angle and stretch the skin. Make sure you be very careful. Let the razor do the work. You don't got to press hard and you don't got to cut the client. But I had used Haven's Kiss uh, for the first time. And man, I, I ain't going to lie, I really liked it. So I bought a machine. Like I said, I got a video coming that's going to compare the Kiss to the 245 no drip setup with the compressor and the other compressor with the Kiss. And um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know the pro, pros and cons of both. So right here, man, I'm just being, getting this tin strap, making sure it's even, making sure it's super clean, making sure that I even get it, I'm paying attention to the details, man. God is in the details, so I'm making sure I even do it up under his chin, making sure everything is clean. This is the before, y'all. My boy came in looking rough. And this is the after, y'all. Y'all know what I do, man. The taper, taper. The taper butter, fade butter. Um, the lineups, you all know the lineups gonna be super crispy and solidified. This cut actually turned out super clean. It's a couple things that I want to correct, and I'm gonna do another video on him. Definitely gotta do another video on him. But I hope that you learned something. If y'all came to learn something, I hope you learned something. Take something from my game, apply it to yours, advance in your career, in your craft, and in your life. I hope that my message touched up somebody and. If you came just because you like barber videos, you want to get satisfied, I hope you're satisfied, man. I appreciate every single person who tuned in my video. Leave me a like. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. I hope to see you back on the next video. And may God bless.